morning, everybody. This is Kelly, and you're watching Cleansing with Kelly, my 14-day New Year's cleanse. And today is day two of my green smoothie cleanse. And I woke up this morning feeling great. I weighed myself, and I'm down three pounds. Woohoo! So three pounds in one day, people. Like, hello. Seriously. Just from drinking smoothies, you can't get any better than that. And I feel great. Um, yesterday, I had some pretty wicked... Um, caffeine withdrawal symptoms later in the afternoon I ended up in bed so that's why you didn't hear from me again so um but that's to be expected and I didn't wean myself off um I only drank you know like I said very minimal coffee um and I just jump into things when I do things so I didn't really wean myself off so here's my tip if you are cleansing and you're at work and you are a caffeine um drinker then just take a little bit to wean yourself down and um you know, you'll feel, your body will thank you for it because um, it hits you pretty hard. You know, you get a headache when you don't have your coffee. Well, you can multiply that by probably 10 um, is the headache that I had yesterday. So, and it's it's weird because I only drank, like I said, like one coffee or so a day. And I don't know. So that just tells me that that caffeine is just a no-no. Um, you know, they can, I know a lot of people say it's the antioxidants and things like that, but it's still caffeine. It still has to go through your kidneys. It's extremely hard in the kidneys. Um, so, and we're cleansing and, um, we want to keep our bodies clean. So I would say after this cleanse, I've said it twice before, I never drank coffee and then I got into it when I'm studying, um, my holistic nutrition because I'm sitting a lot and I found myself tired. So I was grabbing for the coffee, but after this, I, I need to stay away from it because, um, proof is in the pudding. And if you if you feel that bad with it coming into your body, it cannot be good for you. So. Um, anyways, I said to you yesterday that I was going to uh, talk about one of my, some of my favorite super fruits um, for the smoothie. So today I want to talk about the pomegranate. This little um, beautiful fruit is top on super fruits list for antioxidants. Um, so I'll just tell you some quick health benefits and uh, I hope you can pick this up and, and um, try it out because it's extremely powerful. Um, and uh, so it's full of antioxidants and um, there's little seeds in it. For any who have eaten it before, um, a lot of people, they'll take the seeds and just suck on the seed itself and then um, spit it out, like just get the juice off it. But really the whole fruit is where, um, where the uh, health benefits are, the whole seed. So you'll want to pop the whole seed right into your smoothie. Um, so the health benefits are this, of this little beautiful fruit are um, it's... Uh, high, high in antioxidants, it actually lowers the risk of cancer, um, especially colon cancer and breast cancer. It lowers the risk of heart disease, it lowers the risk of, um, it lowers your cholesterol, uh, it uh, helps you reduce weight and stay at a healthy weight. Um, so right there, you know, those are some absolute great benefits that we want to tap into. So um, I thought I'd keep it simple today. There's a lot of fruits that I can talk about. But I want to talk about the pomegranate because they're in season right now. You can get them at the grocery store, and I know that they have quite a few, you know, um, I don't know what the price is right now, but you can get them uh, on sale, maybe like three for five dollars or something like that. And they'll go a long way. You don't have to put a whole one in your smoothie. I do because um, it tastes really good. So the next thing I want to tell you about this little fruit is the amount of energy that you will get from this. It's crazy. I, after two years of uh, drinking green smoothies, um, you know, I'm playing around with different fruits. I just somehow or another just started to put these in my smoothies and um, I threw one in one day because it was just there um, and I thought well we'll try it out and uh, I whipped it up and I drank it down and I couldn't believe the energy that I got. I called one of my really good friends and I was like you have to try this and I know she's always got lots of fresh fruit and stuff because she's, um, she's a green girl like me. She loves to make smoothies and juices and stuff so she uh, she's like okay I'll do this right now so she went and she whipped it up and she called me and we were laughing our heads off like we were both buzzing around like just totally high on the enzymes that this little baby um you know brings into your body so this right here is um pure live energy and when you put that into your smoothie like i say it's liquid life so i think that this is a great um fruit for you guys to try if you want to try something new um in the smoothies i think it's really important to uh, rotate your fruits and your vegetables and um, so for those of you who, have, who are following me around along on this, um, I highly recommend you go pick some of these up and uh, pop them into your smoothie. 
and like I said, just put the whole seed in. You'll find that it is a little bit, um, like it's got a texture to it, obviously, because the seeds are, uh, like they're fibrous, and um, so it's, it's got a texture, but I like it. Um, just, you know, do your best to, um, you know, some people are sensitive with textures, and if you are, just add a little bit more water to your smoothie, um, and maybe a little bit more banana. So that'll keep it a little bit smoother. And um, maybe if you want to do your ban do like uh, one frozen banana and one um, ripe raw banana, that would help with the texture too. So um, that's all on that. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And just and let me know if you try it. I want to hear your comments because I think you're really, really, really going to like it. And I think you're going to laugh your head off at the buzz that you get from that smoothie because it's wild. So I'm going to be drinking mine soon, and I'll be looking forward to the energy that it'll bring me through the day. So I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope that you are inspired to follow along. And even if you're not doing a full out uh, cleanse right now, I hope that this just inspires you to even drink one smoothie a day. Um, that's a huge change right there, and you will feel the change. You will feel the difference. Your um, waistline will start to shrink. Your energy will soar, and people will be saying, I don't know what you're doing, but you're looking fabulous, and um, you'll feel fabulous too. So. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and enjoy the day. Try to be positive as you can. We need as much positivity around here as we can absolutely get. So, um, oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention is when you're cleansing, you need to really be clear in your mind and clear to yourself um, your cleansing why. And my cleansing why is because I'm opening up a new yoga studio. Um, as you guys all know, a lot of you, I uh, just completed my yoga for youth certification in Toronto. So I'm now a certified yoga for youth instructor. And of course, um, you know, uh, picking back up where I left off with uh, empowerment for girls, I have decided that I'm going to um, specialize in teaching yoga to girls ages 8 to 17. So my new company is called Yoga Girls. And um, yeah, so that's for me. I thought, you know, to start the new year off, opening up a new business, um, you know, and deep into my studies of holistic nutrition, I think it's time to, uh, you know, continue on with the changes that cleansing has helped me make in my life, and um, this is a big step for me, um, and I, it's my passion, as you all know, to empower our local girls and help them feel amazing for themselves, so this yoga is empowerment yoga, and it's, it's all about self-esteem and self-love and self-acceptance, and um, I think it's going to be a wonderful thing, so um, that's my cleansing why, you know, to really get clear and uh, of course flexibility that the cleansing brings to your body is great so I want to be nice and flexible and stretchy um, for my teaching and um, yeah so that's that and I know that this cleanse especially when I get into the master cleanse is going to open up my creativity um, you know and you need to be creative when you're a business owner and uh, a teacher you have to be creative and you have to be in the flow so I know that cleansing is going to help me do that so whatever life changes it is that you're trying to make in your life right now Cleansing will help you every step of the way. It will open you up into change um, and change for the better. Like, I promise. Like, it's just, you know, I know it can be scary sometimes thinking about not having your favorite foods. But you know what? It so pays off. It so pays off. Like, a million, billion fold. Um, when you do this for your body, and it's going to thank you. And uh, your mind's going to thank you because you're going to get into alignment with these, you know, this, these foods are life force energy. And um, that's what you're going to become in alignment with. So that's what you want because this is where creativity and liveliness and, you know, life lives is in raw food. So hope you enjoy your day and uh, figure out your cleansing why. And um, let me know why you're cleansing. And tell your friends why you're cleansing. And the more you tell people what you're doing, the more inspired they will be to do the same thing. And that's what it's all about is being connected and inspiring each other and empowering each other and um, if we can do that if we can just inspire and empower you know one person and then they bring that forth to another person another and another well that's how we create the most amazing place to be so happy smoothie sipping today everybody and i'll talk to you again soon